Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Cybertruck dual motor close-up shows super manifold V2, beefy wiper motor, cool interior details. Tesla Cybertruck nighttime sighting, hints at removal of windshield light bar. Tesla submits Gigafactory Mexico's environmental impact report under codename Project Mario. And Tesla improves camera quality in quest to solve full self-driving. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. A recent set of images featuring the Tesla Cybertruck has provided a number of key details about the upcoming all-electric pickup truck's front and interior. The photos also hinted at the Cybertruck variant that may be released by the electric vehicle maker first. Members of the Cybertruck Owners Club recently shared several images featuring a Cybertruck that looked a bit worse for wear. There were no dents in the vehicle, but its doors looked pretty scuffed. The vehicle's windshield was also cracked, and a portable battery pack could be seen, seemingly connected to the Cybertruck's low-voltage battery. A number of key details in the exposed Cybertruck frunk are immediately noticeable. For one, a component listed as Super Manifold V2 is clearly visible, which suggests that the Cybertruck would have a pretty impressive heat pump system. It also suggests that the Cybertruck's heat pump would be an improvement over the Model Y's pump. Actuators on the right and left side suggest that the Cybertruck may feature a powered frunk. Amusingly enough, the Cybertruck's Giga Wiper system is so beefy that it's attached to the frame itself. The component bodes well for the Cybertruck's single wiper, as it looks quite durable and heavy-duty. Interestingly enough, a sticker with a VIN could be seen in the recently shared photos. And as per the sticker, the Cybertruck unit in question seems to be a dual-motor variant, similar to the original prototype that was unveiled in late 2019. This may suggest that the Cybertruck would be releasing with its dual-motor variant first. A number of images shared of the Cybertruck's interior also stood out, particularly the perforated seats in front. This suggests that the all-electric pickup truck could keep its passengers warmed or cooled as needed. Components that seem designed for the vehicle's removable mirror could also be seen. Finally, portions of the dash appear to be made of a material similar to Alcantara. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck nighttime sighting hints at removal of windshield light bar. One of the reasons why the original Tesla Cybertruck prototype was so unique, apart from its polarizing looks, was its lights. The Tesla Cybertruck's headlights, which come in the form of a large bright strip that spans the front of the vehicle, are definitely eye-catching. Complementing this was another light bar installed on top of the windshield. Together with bright fog lamps, the two light bars on the Cybertruck's front end gave the vehicle an extremely futuristic feel. Since its unveiling, the Cybertruck has seen its own fair share of changes. These included the apparent removal of the middle seat in front and changes to the material used in the vault's motorized tonneau cover. As per a recent nighttime sighting of the vehicle, the Cybertruck also appears to have lost the light bar on top of its windshield. The sighting, which was shared on the Tesla Motors subreddit, featured a wrapped Tesla Cybertruck unit at a supercharger. The vehicle seems to be the same unit that was spotted over the weekend, sporting a humorous and very green Toyota Tundra wrap. As could be seen in the short clip, the Cybertruck promptly left the supercharger station when another vehicle pulled in. Considering the time of the sighting, as well as the fact that the Cybertruck's front headlights and fog lights were engaged, one could assume that the vehicle's lights were fully engaged. Despite this, it was evident that there was no light on top of the Cybertruck's windshield. Fortunately, the Cybertruck's front lights, even without its windshield light bar, still seem enough to provide ample visibility at night to the driver. The Cybertruck's release seems to be just around the corner, with Tesla launching a new referral program that would allow participants to secure an invite to the vehicle's first delivery event in Austin, Texas. Sightings of Cybertrucks being tested on public roads and being transported by car carrier trucks have also increased in frequency over the past weeks. 
Moving to the next update, Tesla submits Gigafactory Mexico's Environmental Impact Report under codename Project Mario. Governor Samuel Garcia Sepulveda of Nuevo Leon confirmed that Tesla presented Gigafactory Mexico's Environmental Impact Statement to local officials. According to Tesla's Environmental Impact Documents for Giga Mexico, the EV manufacturer has dubbed the construction of its next factory project Mario. Tesla documents reveal that Tesla owns 1,561 hectares of land near Cerro La Mota and Cumbers de Monterrey in Santa Catarina. Tesla plans to build Giga Mexico on 260 hectares out of the 1,561 hectares it owns in the area. Tesla has requested a change of land use from the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources. The company's environmental statement also states that Tesla predicts clearing the 260 hectares for Giga Mexico construction would leave mitigable compensable environmental impacts on the area. Tesla proposed specific measures to prepare the land for Giga Mexico's build-out. Tesla's proposals included scaring away fauna and rescuing 16,000 specimens of flora and fauna, including lizards, turtles, vipers, biznagas, and payets. Earlier this month, Tesla requested environmental performance from Mexico's Ministry of the Environment and Natural Resources to construct an industrial warehouse in the municipality of Santa Catarina. Governor Sepulveda's confirmation regarding Tesla's environmental statement for Giga Mexico hints that the paperwork has started for the new Gigafactory. Tesla Giga Mexico is scheduled to start vehicle production by Q1 2025, giving the company more than a year to build, submit, or file the necessary paperwork for the Gigafactory. Giga Mexico is expected to make Tesla's $25,000 compact vehicle. Moving to the last update, Tesla improves camera quality in quest to solve full self-driving. Tesla has improved the image quality of its side repeater cameras without actually upgrading the cameras themselves in its trek to solve full self-driving. Tesla managed to improve the quality of its side repeater cameras, which are located on the front quarter panels on both sides of the vehicle. These cameras are two of the eight that are responsible for gathering information for Tesla's neural net, but also helping vehicles equipped with autopilot and full self-driving operate effectively and efficiently. Although Tesla has started installing its new hardware for in some vehicles, these cameras, with the improved quality, are still operating on the previous iteration, known as Hardware 3. Despite Hardware 4's improvements, Hardware 3 is still tremendously responsible for the tasks of gathering driving behaviors for the neural network, which helps Tesla vehicles become safer with every mile driven. Accumulating hundreds of millions of miles of data is crucial for the company's quest to solve self-driving and release its feature-complete FSD suite. Members of the FSD beta pool noticed with the recently released 11.4.7 update that the camera quality received a significant upgrade from 11.4.6 version. There was also a significant improvement in terms of the camera quality during the evening hours. Chuck Cook, a notable FSD beta tester, showed a comparison between the two versions and the new 11.4.7 seems to give off a more realistic perspective in terms of colors and overall quality. Tesla's Hardware 3 cameras are just 1.2 megapixels, a far cry from the 5 megapixel cameras that are featured with Hardware 4 vehicles. If Tesla was able to make this significant upgrade with a less robust camera, the Hardware 4 vehicles should have excellent image quality. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.